I've been working with Tarlov Sis since I was in residency. In my residency training, we treated patients who had similar types of cysts, but it was always felt that uh, Tarlov cysts themselves were not treatable. I've performed surgery on over 600 patients. We have had patients from essentially every state in the union and from multiple other countries all over the world. I really feel that with the Tarlov Cyst Institute, we provide top-notch expertise and care for patients who are seeking assistance and are severely symptomatic and not receiving the treatment they need and deserve elsewhere. A Tarlov cyst is an abnormal spinal nerve root. Tarlov cysts can be present anywhere spinal nerve roots are present. Spinal nerve roots can be present at any level in the spine. And essentially what happens is spinal nerve roots are connected to the spinal sac and spinal fluid from the spinal sac enters into the spinal nerve root and circulates there and exits. That's normal. In patients with symptomatic Tarlov cysts, spinal fluid enters the spinal nerve root but somehow accumulates there and as the amount of fluid inside the nerve root increases over time the covering of that nerve root dilates and as that nerve root cover dilates it ends up compressing other nerve roots around it and becomes symptomatic Tarlov cysts are diagnosed mainly with imaging studies as the technology for imaging has improved over time, more and more patients have uh, become aware that they actually have a symptomatic Tarlov cyst. In essence, patients present with a set of symptoms that relates to where the spinal cyst or the Tarlov cyst is present in their spine. Tarlov cysts can be present anywhere up and down the spine in essence, anywhere there is a spinal nerve root. The most common location for a Tarlov cyst is in the lumbosacral spine, or particularly the sacrum. I prefer a surgical approach for treating Tarlov cysts. And the way I treat the cyst surgically, for example, if a Tarlov cyst is in the sacrum, uh, I approach the cyst from the back, right over the sacrum. I can then open each cyst, identify where spinal fluid is getting into the cyst and stop that flow of fluid. At the same time, I can directly visualize the nerve root fibers and protect them. That's not possible with needle procedures. Uh, in any case, after I've stopped the spinal fluid flow into a cyst so it cannot refill again, I then treat the cyst in such a way uh, that it cannot re-expand in the future. That technique really is definitive and I feel is the best way to treat symptomatic Tarlov cysts. There's a couple ways to get in contact with me and also to get much more information on Tarlov cyst disease. One is by either contacting my office and sending me their films so that I can look at them and then talk with the patient on the phone, or they can contact the Tarlov cyst disease foundation and get good, solid uh, information about their pathology and where to go for help. It's extremely gratifying caring for patients with symptomatic Tarlov cysts. Many times they've been misdiagnosed or simply put on multiple pain medications to treat their symptoms, which are progressively worsening. And it's very gratifying being able to, to provide those patients definitive treatments that uh, help them get back to the life that they lost because in a sense, symptomatic Tarlov cysts not only impact the patient, but their whole family. It's a family disease and the symptoms can be so severe that patients are essentially bed bound and it can produce severe strains within a patient's family, often leading to depression, et cetera. So being able to help those patients who just are suffering and unable to get the care they need is so gratifying and fulfilling for me. 